meaning with Bitcoin and um, what I normally do is I give updates and it seems I limit those updates to traders well um, hmm because I'm a trader but again I can also update and it is not financial advice I'm just giving you what's happening with Bitcoin um, with respect to the very direction of an Oxley that I'm using called Market Cipher so Market Cipher is a script that gives you insight into the very direction of an asset but again I'm not trying to talk about Market Cipher I'm just trying to talk about what's happening with Bitcoin overall because um, Bitcoin as a technology I don't want to limit this conversation as a currency I want to go much into the technology it's, it's, it goes through cycles um, we have something called correction and, um, and we have bearishness um, we, we've been bearish for a while and I'm on the daily time frame so you can realize that our money which is our liquid is in the negatives from the past let's say we've been bearish mm. I, I wouldn't say we've been bearish, but let me look at the time from this time frame. Sorry, this time to 8th April to currently 31st May. We've been a little bit in the negatives for a while. And what's happened overall is what I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing um, an uptrend. I'm seeing my liquid heading towards the positive. Um, I'm seeing my liquid here. I'm seeing my liquid probably changing direction. I'm seeing my momentum also heading into the positives. I'm seeing RSIs and view up showing um, signs of an uptrend. But um, overall, if, if you are an investor in Bitcoin, this is the best time to be accolading. Because most people think, oh, things are down, so I have to sell. No, you sell when we are at the top, mostly. Because in most cases, um, you have to sell at the top. Just where we probably reach in the point of correction, that is the Uber bots. Um, but when we are at the bottom, that's where you, see, you need to start accumulating again. This is not financial advice, but this is just an insight based on what the script tells me. So, this is a message for investors um, Bitcoin will never go to zero, will never go back to zero because it's a demand and supply um, currency. Um, people are holding it and people are trading and by the way those who are trading are not really affecting the prices those who are selling it and don't forget almost like 16 percent of american population are holding bitcoin so you have to educate yourself that there is something called the proof of weak hands they are getting stronger people are educating themselves realizing how robust how resilient how um, important this uh, technology is because like i said i don't want to even engage this conversation from the angle of um, currency a currency is just an application that you just can install on your phone and use but i'm looking at it from the standpoint of technology and what does it do it gives people the ability to own your money spend your money it has a limited supply of 21 million making it deflationary no mafia currencies are inflationary so bitcoin is more or less like um the your best shot your your best sound money so when it comes to money conversation that's what you call it but when it comes to the robustness of this technology it's beyond comparisons like you, you don't have to bring in blockchain. There's so much into it. But I'm just talking that to you, the investors, those who are into the long term. You know, uh, it's one thing about Bitcoin is it's highly speculative. People speculate on this asset a lot. And um, once, once people speculate, people trade, people sell. It's like there's so many news. Should I buy? Should I sell? There's so much influx of information. You, you see, the tactics is people are forcing you to sell it. So probably um, 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 they buy, they accumulate, you understand? So you have to know the games when it comes to crypto. You don't just, just, just don't do anything based on what someone is saying. Have insights and Market Cypher gives you insights. So I'm tracking my liquid, which is my money. Mm, we went down from, yeah, we went down. And it seems we are showing signs of an uptrend, which is the time to be buying. So if I was probably going to buy, I would probably start buying here because we've been down for a while but it's the very best time to accumulate anytime we go down realize you are going up anytime we go up realize you're coming down so it's, it's the market cycle we are in those cycles and if you're new that's where you shake um if you are not new you know the trend you like you know already this things happens all on the time and it's normal the market is going to take shape it takes a while but again um get used to it 
and if 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 you're a trader you know it's because you already trade ups and downs but if you're an investor you look into the longevity you don't care about the short-term gains think about the long-term um, benefits so um this is just an overview on what's happening with bitcoin and i'm using my as a script of you know reference um to gauge the direction of an asset that's what i'm trying to do i'm not really trying to trade or give trading entries because market server is way beyond just trading it gives you insight and there's a very recommended script that i think helps most people to trade and make easy money right now it's not even about making money with market server it's about understanding how it works and how the market works in general and um um today i have a nice time people this is just what's happening with big word part four i i'll keep updating people this is the new um, i think that's probably what i'll be doing most um what's happening with bitcoin and let's trade finding good entries and let's all encrypt it together and um, the world is going to be a better place so until then have a nice time people Peace.